Hi filmmakers, today I come to you with a serious issue that needs to be discussed, and it is de-aging. De-aging is where you take an older actor and then through the magic of computer software make that actor look younger. Now the reason why I want to bring this up to you is a couple movies that are out right now. The first one is The Irishman, and the second one is Renaissance Man. <laughs> Now, normally what we would be doing when we're talking about either of these films is talking about is the story any good, are the performances good, how's the cinematography, the directing, but in the case of these two movies we're not talking about either of those things. When you turn on your news feed and you see what people are talking about with these films, they're talking about de-aging. Oh, look how they made Robert De Niro look younger. Look how young Will Smith looks. Well, he looks pretty young already, doesn't he? That's the conversation. And it's taking us away from what we should be talking about in these films. Also, there's another aspect of de-aging that is a problem. And it is we're taking away the opportunity for younger actors to get roles in films. Now, I'll give you an example of this. The Godfather 2. Yes, you could argue it is not the best Godfather film, but Robert De Niro played a young Vito Corleone in that film. A young... Marlon Brando. Now, if that movie were made today, they would take Marlon Brando and make him look younger. Of course, they'd have to de-size him as well, but you get the point. Robert De Niro would have not received that Academy Award nomination for playing that character. In Renaissance Man, another example of this, where Jaden Smith could play a young Will Smith, but he's not. And although we've seen in the past where the two of them being in a film together doesn't necessarily make it a good film. And in Renaissance Man, well, it's not getting all that great of reviews either. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. But the point is that it's taking away a role from another person. I'll give you another example. The movie Looper had Bruce Willis and Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it. Joseph Gordon-Levitt played a young Bruce Willis in that film. If that movie were made today, then Bruce Willis would be playing a younger version of himself which is fine and all, but it detracts us from the actual film. And it's not needed. Just because we can put technology into films and we have the ability to do this kind of stuff doesn't mean we necessarily should be doing it. And I kind of hope that this is just a temporary trend to where like, look this new technology, let's play around with it a little bit, but then in the end they're gonna stop using it. I'd like to see younger actors and actresses get the opportunity to play these roles and then they could develop their skills and turn into great actors like Robert De Niro, for example. But also because it does take us away from the movie. We shouldn't be talking about how the technology made a person look. Instead, what we should be talking about in films like The Irishman is the great story and the cast of people that are in this. I mean, Joe Pesci more or less came out of retirement to do this role. And from all accounts, it is a fantastic film. But it'd be hard to know because all people are talking about is the de-aging process. I know Hollywood producers, you might occasionally watch this channel to kind of state what's going on within the hip and cool indie filmmaking crowd that I uh, hang out in. And hopefully you'll see this. And the next time you think about de-aging somebody, don't. Just cast a younger actor in the role. And that's a PSA from me, Milo Denison, and No Budget.